Hey everybody, hope you had a pretty good turnaround Tuesday. If we go to the SPY, you had the 2-2 on a Tuesday, going back up there, 518.22. Ran out of time, but you'll see this morning, this is what we pointed out, the 2-up, the 2-down, the 2-up 15 are right here, which gets it going in the morning. They did triangle out, and then in the afternoon, you can see, failed to change the daily continuity, so they're still buying, still a 2-2 reversal. Then created the hammer 60. So fourth 60 of the day. This occurred with the Qs as well. Hammer rev strat occurred with the Dow Jones as well. Hammer 60 and IDBM as well, as, although that was a two down, so it was weaker. But full simultaneous break there. And what we mentioned yesterday is a lot of potential three two twos in the SMHs. So SMH did do that, just ran out of time to take this out, 239.14. So it's still gonna have good range to go and do that. And the strongest one we saw there was NVIDIA this morning. So three two two right back up, still an inside week, but you can see off the 60 hammer here, you take that up, gets you into the daily break, as long as you stay up and above that, that's still happening. So into tomorrow, we'd like to see 974 above 919. It is gapping up slightly after hours. We also had that simultaneous break, one, two, two. And you can see with simultaneous breaks, this is why we widen the stop up because sometimes they don't get there right away. Some things did go right away, some didn't. But with simultaneous breaks, the whole market reversed right here. So as long as this isn't a 2-2 two -two back down, that's going to happen, right? So they go and make the highs. And then we're still going to look for that tomorrow. We also saw SMCI take the day up. So bigger name with NVIDIA, but ran out of time. So we'll have to see tomorrow if that can follow through. This one wasn't quite as good. Had the hammer 60. Goes for 60 minutes and then chop shop for a while until the 60 at the end of the day does pop up slightly. If we go to then what's setting up in the SMHs tomorrow, we'll see Intel. A little bit of a Momo hammer. Inside week still, but it is bright green. Still has the rev strap month maybe. So Momo hammer here could still that do that 322 magnitude. If we go to QCOM, that'll be a momentum hammer as well. If we go to ADI. Also will be a momentum hammer. We got SWKS. Also will be a momentum hammer. Marvel, or not Marvel, MU. Also a 322 two with a lot of range left. Uh, TSM, not so much. So a little bit of a Momo hammer, but really weak. And that's a doji weak. So no thanks. If we go to MU now, Marvel now, my bad. If any of them are going to dump, it would be this one. It goes inside. So either this continues dropping with the shooter weakened force and negating the month, or it negates and they forgive MU for their earnings performance, which was less than expected. And when this is happening, such as that kicker pattern last Friday, and then the continuation this week, which we talked about, we'd like to see shooter week to set up and go. Now that we've negated the month, what this tells us is, well, their sellers countering these buyers and they're more aggressive than whoever was buying before because now it's red on the month. So those buyers are definitely underwater if they didn't cover or get out of their long positions before this reversal or while that reversal was occurring. So as long as this stays red on the month, we would consider this to be natural selling, meaning institutions, they're just getting rid of this one. Don't know the reason, but below this, 7127, that's still happening. Above this, we'd consider that forgiven and potentially it can start coming back by negating the week. And we'll, we will see LRCX, that goes two twos back up. So they do triangle this stuff. And now they're potentially going back into yet last week's range. We'll have to see if we go to AMAT, similar, two two back up. Now Momo Hammer. So a lot of momentum hammers tomorrow. Could two go three on the week as well. So this is all stuff we can look for in the SMHs. We also do have some twos going three in the home builders. So Home Depot, two, two on a Tuesday. It wasn't very strong, but slight lower low to this three and then back in. So notice the week inside down, slight lower lows, and then back in two going three. As long as that's a green week, we'd like to see them take these guys out, which is about $10 higher. If we go to lows, this one's pretty much already did what we wanted. These two outside of that. So now we have to get out of this try if we're going to get an expansion. If we go to... DHI, also a 2-2. This one's still a one on the week though. So although it was a one that we could trade today, I would prefer to go to the ones like PHM where this could be a two going three on the week and you see the three two two, it just didn't go anywhere. So we'll have to see tomorrow if that goes and follows through or not. If we go to TP, this one was one of the stronger ones in there and you can see 
missed the open. Here's the rev strat with the simultaneous break across the rest of the market right there. And this is the list we had after the second 60 of the day. So we we'll also go Boulder, another 322. As long as it's above 200.04, could go to 208. So we can look for those home builders to keep going. We can look for this SMHs on Turner on Tuesday to try and follow through on that. If you go to Amazon, this is some stuff we just scanned and found intraday. Did take the day up right into the 30 minute uh, short term exhaustion and then they just petered out, they're done. So what we'll see here is if you miss the 15, you could take the day. And then once it does that, the 312 actionable against right here, get out or at least partial sum. And if you're staying in perfectly fine, but you gotta see this go two up tomorrow because doji week at this point need that thing to get up into these highs above 176 77 if they're going to take all these guys out if we go to ibm another scanning one that we found notice the two down on monday two are inside in green and then two two right here on tuesday so it was bright green when that triggered which told us the buyers were aggressive renegates the week which tells us there's a losing participant from monday's trading and we can just buy right there when that goes in force, 195.38. Because at that point, we have no reason to believe it's gonna go down. Anyone that's short Monday, they have to cover right when we take that out for sure, and they do. Takes out 198.73, nowhere near two back down, still has the three on two month in force. So that's way in. And now we just have to see, can that keep going tomorrow above 199.18? And 206.22 is all time highs. So we can look for that. Visa from the nightly vid, We'll see the 222 does what it's supposed to and takes the week up. Like we said with MasterCard, probably going to be too weak to take the week up off the day, and it didn't. So like we said, when this hits its magnitude, probably just done. And in the morning, they hit it, and they're pretty much just done. If we go and look, they did create a new triangle. So notice they're going down, right? Now they go up, fail to make the new high. Notice your tri forms like this. So once it goes and pokes down and goes 2 2, we know it's going to take that out as long as it doesn't reverse. So you got some more action in there in the afternoon. And then you can see they expand it, make it slightly bigger. So we'll see if that's going to follow through or not. But we, what we didn't see this morning was financials being very strong. They did go up. So that's still happening. Wells Fargo was one of those that kind of rev stratted back up. Uh, Bank of America had a little 2 2 day back up. Oops. Citigroup, same, but too weak to do anything. JPM, rev strat, and then runs out of time. So just not the strongest buyers in financials. They are obviously still buying ever since the 3-2 down here, but just not very strong. We like the long green bars, and we're just not seeing it there. But what we can then keep watching into tomorrow is the follow-through on those names, home builders and SMHs. The other thing that we do want to know about is the energies. XLE, so energies, you can see... You get your nice daily try. Like so. So bottom to top. Now, question is, can that expand with the energy numbers tomorrow and get out of that? On the week, you can see it like so. So just poking into the highs there. We still have the three on two month in force. So we expect this to keep going. If you go to the XLP, that's still two two on the month, continuing. Still trying to come through these guys. And then OIH, my favorite one. That's going into target one just about, but you got the inside day for tomorrow. So that could help the OIHs get moving, which is gonna be your slob, SLB. You can see momentum hammer in slob with the bright green month, the bright green week. So whoever got short today above 51.84, they have to get out. Uh, if it does 3.22, could be a little bit of an issue for us, but we'll see that when we get there. HAL is another one in slob inside and up still. Same thing, if that 3.22 is, it's a problem, but you're still a green month and a green week. So we'd prefer to see them start getting out of this stuff and get moving. If we go to Oxy, it will be an inside day in Oxy, which could take the week up and could re-break this monthly two month inside bar consolidation. If we go to the things like XOM, still up and out of this three, so that looks good. Comes back in a little bit more. So if things are weak, this could have some pivot machine gun action triangle out. And then maybe we can get it back up again off a of 2-2 back up or something. If we go to CBX, that is still inside weak, but could go 2 twos if energy numbers are good. Doesn't have much any of a signal here. You could call that Momo Hammer, but not really. Still an inside month. So we're not seeing that one do too much yet. If we go into COP in the energies, still an inside weak and up. Still has the month and up. 
doji day. So stop some guys out and creates a triangle. You can see they poke down, they poke up, then they go inside. So either side of that would want to get our attention, either negating or confirming. If we go to MRO for the small count guys, still pretty strong going into the highs. So that looks really good. Still have the month and up and still back into this three. So we'd like to see all that keep going. In the materials, we did see the inside day form today. So if we go and take a look in there, tech is still a rev strap month and up. Didn't trade much of that today. FCX also has the month in force, slight Momo hammer day. So we'll see if that can strengthen back up. Uh, the other one there was It looks like I'm missing it. I don't have it on my list. So I guess it's just not doing anything. So Tech and FCX still are up there in the materials. Those are diversified metals and copper. In the gold, we'll see gold inside and down. So that's a reversal against, which means if you were in from any of this lower stuff, that's your first reason to start getting out. We do form a new try since we're inside week. So you can partial and then look to see, does it take this out or not? 193.72, because if it doesn't, it's still good. It's still momentum measured move setting up. Or it could rev strap back up, which has a lot of magnitude. So we'll keep an eye on the gold. It tells us to be looking at JNUG. 322 would be fun to say and fun to do if they want to keep that month going. If we go to GDX, You'll see the 222 potentially as well. AEM, potential 222 as well. So we can look for that. Um, we did mention yesterday the China names. So KWeb has taken the month up. PMG is up all the way back up there. And this 22 week is going all week. So we have every reason to believe we're going to try and start ripping back through these guys. And they bought Monday, came back Tuesday, and bought more. So that's also a good thing to know. They bought Monday, came back Tuesday, and boom, they buy more. And we mentioned the 15ers in here, right here at the break of the open. And the only one we mentioned there was JD. So there was that. It did end up coming back in, but closed really strong still. So for the swinger guys, two up, two up. We'd like to see that keep going. And again, I mentioned this during one of the live streams. I believe Michael Burry is holding JD. I don't know if we want to. I don't know if we want to base our analysis off that. But yeah, so Michael Burry doubled down on Alibaba and JD. So there potentially is some good reasoning behind that. The other stronger name will be Baidu in there. Bought Monday, bought Tuesday, three two two on the week back up. So lots of range to go take these guys out, and a two going three potential rev strap month, which gives you even higher. So if it's going to one fourteen or one nineteen, it's only one oh five right now. If we go to Baidu, there was some stuff in here. You can see slight triangle out, and then you did have a thirty back up. That was really about it on the thirty sixties for the gappers or anyone that's trading that stuff. So we'll see if that can keep going on into the rest of the month and the rest of the week. But since this is just getting green on the month, they still got a lot of range. So we'll keep an eye on those. Uh, we also mentioned some communications. And I did not give them much of my attention today. I should have. I just truly, it's hard to keep track of everything I give you guys in the videos. But that's why I make them so people can do their own thing. But in the communications, you'll see BZ. Inside month and up, and they reconfirm on here. And you can see, even in the morning, if you just grabbed a 30, you got a little bit of action. They did 2 2 against you, but then they're still green on the day. So that's still happening. There was a 30 back up here and an inside 30 in here, which this is truly where we should have spent some time today, this morning. I just did not have it on my list. There's also Billy, which did go 2 up, but you can see, was there any 30 signals to get long? No, not really, unless you're buying high a day. Uh, if we go to OMC, which is advertising. That one does reconfirm on Tuesday, still has the month in force. So this is a strat attack name for sure. They're trying to still go up 99.23. And those are the three that we've got on the strat attack list here. Um, some other things, we do see some financials like Futu really taking off some big, big candles being put in here off the momentum hammer week back into this three, which I'm like 99% sure we did talk about. So 67.49, not far away from taking that out. If we go to the year, that would take the year inside and up. So even if you missed it, they're really aggressive this week and this month. So if there's something you can get in there to try and trigger, 
that 6749 level, go for it. They might really step up into there. We don't know. But we, what we do know so far is they really like the stock. So we can definitely be aware of that. Um, there is some other financial names in here, like insurance. You can see ACGL by Monday, they come back Tuesday. And we know insurance companies are just making hay as far as raising rates goes. Across, it's all over the news everywhere. We'll also see CB by Monday, come back Tuesday for more. Momo Hammer Year in Force. We'll see HIG, they buy Monday, buy Tuesday, and come back for more with the 3 2 week going. And still has some range on the year, 106.23. So that could happen this week. That one would be the better one since it has some previous range to come back through there. Just need some corrective activity to do that. And we do see things like Dollar General are on the list, but not the brightest green names in the world. I'd rather see some triangle out before I go and try and do something like that. But it does look really good if we go to the quarter. It looks like that. So Dollar General could be going at 263.9. It's about $100 more. And pretty much what you'd want to see is all these previous lows in here. You want to reclaim all these guys. So right now, this is the previous try, and now they're back in. So that does look pretty good. Dollar Tree also looks pretty good. Two-two quarter pivot machine gun. So if we can get some good corrective activity or maybe even like inside week in Dollar Tree, that could be something pretty good to know about in those guys. But I don't want to give you guys too much. So that is going to cover most of what we're seeing. I'll give you guys, let me see, one more name here. UPS is pretty much is taken off. Still has some monthly magnitude. It's here. So 161.48. So still have some range to take that out. If it does, you do take the quarter 2-2 back up. And notice, like so. You have your support level here. Everyone's got that drawn. And then takes them out. 2-2's two back up. Potentially, they can come back through all these guys. And I don't see UPS going anywhere anytime soon. So that can be another one. But that will be about it as far as going into tomorrow. Energy numbers are truly the only thing that we're going to have to worry about or be looking to play, really. If we go into here on Forex Factory, there will be PPI before the market Thursday. And then some manufacturing stuff Friday. So pretty quiet week after the CPI, which really didn't do too much. And I guess that's the last thing we'll talk about. If you're a futures trader, how do you do this? Well, every morning we're talking about the futures try pre-market. So what do we see? Well, notice you get some threes in here. Notice the try is very small, right? And then you come into the market open. Here is where the news comes out, big three. So once you do that, this is a three. So they go up. You do get the rev strat right here on the 15. That was something we mentioned in the stream. That makes a three was not weak enough to take this out because it goes three, two down. So that's good. The second that goes green, you either flip long or at the very least cover. Since, since we know at that point, if we mark this weekly open out, 15195. Five. You'll see at that point, the magnitude of the three, potential three, three on the 15er, would renegate the week back to green. So you can do that. The better one was NASDAQ. And this is one we also saw this morning. So here's the three and then boom, bigger three. So range just got bigger. Two up, two down inside rev strat. So you could short it, looking to take these guys out and then it does. And then after it does that, making low day, two going three right here. And that's where you'd want to either cover or flip long. And then the two, two, 15, that's where you either add or get long if you didn't flip long here. So it's pretty neat on the cues. It's just going to look like a two up, two down, two up 15 or so a two, 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 which is something we know about. We mentioned this morning. You also had the spy doing that the two, two, two right there to get back in. And if you're waiting for the thirties, second 30 of the day has a hammer. So you can go and do that off the 15 to get your 30 if you're a 30, 60 guy. So pretty nice there. We're still going to be seeing inside week spy inside week cues. Dow Jones, three week inside of our pattern, which is an inside month, but it is a rev strat, so it could get out of that. And then IWM inside week. So until that changes, we just gotta be aware that we are messing about with ones. So day to day, 60 to 60 will be important. But besides that, that's gonna cover everything we need to know into tomorrow. So I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for those in the stream. And for those that are not, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's nightly vid.